Washington Times opinion editor Charlie Hurt joins us now. He is also a Fox News contributor. Uh, lo and behold, uh, it was, you know, disinformation, the Hunter Biden laptop, when it uh, surfaced just before the election of 2020. Now, all of a sudden, mainstream media are paying it some serious attention. What's happened, Charlie? Well, I think that uh, Jonathan Turley makes a great point there, uh, and I think that there is a real possibility that we could be looking at, at an indictment, at which point the media has no choice but to um, to cover this stuff. But I think the, the other part of it is that, you know, for a long time, the reason so many in the media refused to cover this story is because, quite frankly, they, they were dead set on doing absolutely anything they could to get rid of Donald Trump. And for as long as uh, Joe Biden was running, was the Democratic nominee running against Donald Trump, they were going to ignore that laptop, ignore Hunter Biden and pretend like uh, nothing was going on there in order to, to get, you know, not to mess up Joe Biden. Joe Biden is in the White House now. Uh, mission accomplished as far as they're concerned. And so I think they're probably suddenly uh, become a whole lot more curious uh, at a time. And it, but it's sort of amusing, though, because, of course, listening to them now crow about different stories that they've revealed, and you kind of shake your head because a lot of us have already been trying to cover a lot of this stuff and have been for, you know, 18 months, but the stories have been getting silenced either on Twitter or Facebook or and, and of course, entirely ignored by the so-called mainstream media. Yeah. Uh, no media outlet was probably more dismissive of the Hunter Biden laptop story than the Atlantic magazine. Uh, watch this exchange yeah. at the University of Chicago when a student asks Ann Applebaum from uh, uh, Atlantic magazine about her coverage. Listen. Do you think the media acted inappropriately when they instantly dismissed uh, Hunter Biden's laptop as Russian disinformation? And what can we learn from that in ensuring that what we label as disinformation is truly disinformation and not reality? I mean, my, my problem with Hunter Biden's laptop is I think totally irrelevant. I mean, it's not whether it's disinformation or, I mean, I don't think the Hunter Biden's um, business relationships have anything to do with who should be president of the United States. All the mistakes of the mainstream media and CNN in particular seem to magically all go in one direction. Are we expected to believe that this is all just some sort of random coincidence or is there something else behind it? It's too bad, it's time for lunch. <laughs> I think you're describing a different channel than the one that I watch. Uh, but I understand that that is a popular right-wing narrative about CNN. The latter one there, Brian Stelter, the so-called media critic from yeah. CNN. Uh, it, it's interesting to watch these young people sort of getting it, Charlie. Isn't it great? I, I was so uh, pleased to see that. Uh, and and uh, obviously, they're good questions. They're intelligent questions. They're obvious questions. And it's sort of alarming the degree to which people like Ann Applebaum and, and uh, Stelzer don't ever get uh, pressed on these very obvious questions. But I think that uh, they did a good job of explaining why nobody reads The Atlantic. Uh, you have sex. You have drugs. Uh, you, maybe you don't have rock and roll, but you have unbel an unbelievable web of corruption involving the next president of the United States. And for some reason, Ann Applebaum finds nothing interesting, nothing remotely newsworthy about it. It's kind of astonishing if you stop and think about it just from the standpoint of, you know, you and I have been in the news business a long time. What do we want more than anything? We want a good story. And if yeah. you don't think that that is a good story, there's something wrong with you. You need to find a different line of work. Yeah, and I, I just have to um, play this sound from Representative Jim Jordan because it's not just uh, Hunter Biden. The, the laptop contains right. information says Jordan, that suggests his father profited from all of this. Listen. It sure looks like Joe Biden was involved. This was a family operation, including his uncle, as I said before. Second, remember what Joe Biden said in the debates 18 months ago. He said he didn't do anything wrong, and Hunter wasn't taking money from interest, business interests with connections to China. There are 4.8 million reasons why that statement Joe Biden made was not accurate, because we know he took $4.8 million from CEFC, the Chinese energy company. So, yeah, this, is, this ties in the entire family. So that you know, there are a lot of Republicans who say that uh, you know there there should be impeachment articles drafted against uh, the president because of some of these financial shenanigans. You say, Charlie, 
uh, that President Biden should be impeached, but for another reason. Let's talk about that. Yes, indeed. Uh, but but let me just say, I think that uh, impeaching him for the, the, the these are clearly high crimes and misdemeanors. At least the allegations are are if if you can prove them in a in a court, i.e., the United States Senate. Uh, these are high crimes and misdemeanors. But I would urge Republicans to, t to take this opportunity and focus on an issue and make this midterm election about an issue. And that issue is open borders. Joe Biden and Democrats have emb embraced this idea of open borders. It is a op perfect opportunity for Republicans to start gathering information to, to, uh, and, and put the Biden administration on f in, in full warning that if they, uh, if we have the invasion of the border, coupled with everything they've already done to invite the invasion of the, the border, Joe Biden could be impeached for failing to uphold his constitutional uh, responsibilities of defending the Constitution and defending our borders. And, and you know, make it, make the, make this midterm about an important issue. I would argue the most important issue that that Washington has to deal with, and that is the sanctity of our borders. Yeah, and the, the surge that's happening right now is uh, the worst we've ever seen. And as I just mentioned, uh, it could get two to three times worse in the estimate of the Border Patrol. Washington Times opinion editor, Charlie Hurt. Charlie, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.